What's up, you guys? So, as if UFC 223 hasn't gotten nutty enough over the past few weeks with Tony Ferguson uh, having to bail out of his fight against Khabib after uh, tripping on one of those big, thick electrical cords um, while doing media rounds. Apparently, Connor and his entourage absolutely bombarded, you know, some of the, the pre-fight media dealings um, today in Brooklyn. Um... Apparently the dude's pissed off, right? Because they're stripping him of uh, of his title. But like, what I want to say is, what does Connor expect? The dude's so on the fence about what he wants to do. You know, he okay. So he uh, he fights Eddie Alvarez, right? In December, what was that? December, um, not a seventeen, but December a sixteen, two thousand sixteen. He fights Eddie Alvarez, right? Then he doesn't fight at all until August of this past year against Floyd Mayweather in boxing, right? And unless I'm mistaken, the dude hasn't fought in like a year and a half. What do you think they're going to do, man? And, and there's no clear-cut date, nothing set in stone is regarding when he's going to come back. So I, I don't understand how Connor can be that surprised. You know, maybe he's not surprised, but he's just pissed off. But regardless, it's like, dude, yeah, they're going to pull your belt, you know? They're going to strip you. You can't keep the division in limbo. You can't keep everybody, you know, up in the air as, as far as what's going on with the division. It's just not cool, you know? Um, I get it. He, he made a shitload of money against Floyd. But it's like, dude, all this shit's getting to your head, man. Like, Connor, what? You can't just do shit your way. You know, it's like, it's like a spoiled little kid that doesn't get his way. And now he's going to tear everything up, you know? Completely trash the place. That's, Connor, dude, I mean, this is, this is beyond, you know, just some pre-fight uh, gimmicks. This is fucked up, man. This is, apparently Michael Chiesa's injured or something, so he might be out of his fight against Anthony Pettis, and then other fighters are obviously, understandably so, like, rattled by this. I just... Man, I, I'm. Uh, this is just Connor stooping to a level lower than I thought he would. You know, um, I know the dude's known for being outspoken, brash, flamboyant, but this, I did not see shit like this happening. I mean, it's just so unnecessary. You know, um, some media outlets are reporting that this is Connor's way of you know expressing his frustration and his disapproval of being stripped of the title. But like I said at the beginning of this video, what did he expect? If you don't want to be stripped of your title, fight. Fight. Don't just be wishy-washy as far as, oh yeah, I might fight in the fall, blah, blah, blah. Dude, if my memory serves me correctly, you haven't fought in the UFC since December of 2016. 14 months ago. And there's still no official announcement when you'll be back in the UFC. So yeah. You should be stripped of your title. The entire lightweight featherweight division is at a standstill because of Connor. So I think the UFC is doing the right thing. Um, and Connor and his team, if they want to. <sighs> Man. This is just bullshit, you guys. I'm, I'm just disappointed to hear this because. I. Man, I, I respect Connor a lot. For his fighting ability, his marketing ability, just the guy does stuff his way and he's very successful. He's made boatloads of money, but I just, I expect better from the guy. Oh, you guys, this is, wow, this is fucking crazy, man.